Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Wednesday. So very happy to be here for show number 2061. Well, let me fix my white balance here. Forgot to do that before the show. Hope you're all going to playing a new game on stream today. Bugs Must Die it is a twin stick bullet hell. Uh, just top down shooter. Pretty straightforward. Uh, definitely a game genre I enjoy very much. There we go. Flesh tone's good. Uh, don't know too much about the game. Watched a little bit. Sounds really nice. Uh, looks really nice. It's a spiritual successor of the 1986 Konami game Jackal, where you're a Jeep with a bunch of guns, uh, kind of playing top down the same way, except for a lot crisper. So let's hop on in and see how this goes. Pretty excited to try it out. Before we get started, let's get caught up the fine people in chat here and all your wonderful support. What's up, Hydrant23, Malta, TC, Magiga? Artia, Bearded Flames, Cutest Bear, Vico One, Doom Twenty Two Ninety Nine, English Narwhals, Low, Kathora, Valdemar, Arbras, Spezix, Nerguna, B, B Power, G F H, What's up, F X One K, Frackles, absolutely legit. And before we begin, Nico, all powerful. Thanks for keeping it dapper, dude. Matt D, thanks for 55 months. F X one K with dropping that 81. Artia one, thanks for 540 bits. And Raised Warrior, thanks for 12 months. Appreciate that year. And that's for signing here. Sanguine, thanks for 48 months too. Nice. All right, here we go. Planet M79 at the edge of the galaxy. A lone spaceship from the Galactic Pest Control Company, a secret agency of the Earth Federation government flying towards Planet M79. Agent M, two special agents are missing on M79. We received these pictures from them before they lost touch. Bugs. The mission is to find the missing agents and see what the manis beings want. Yes, sir. Your ship is landing. You'll soon find what's waiting for you. I bet it's going to be a bunch of bugs. All right. Cool, we got training going on here. Welcome to the primary training. You'll learn how to move in this lesson. All right. How is the gain to voice volume for everybody here? Move your vehicle by pushing the left stick on your controller or WSD, I guess, straightforward. Yeah, the sound balance is good. In lesson two, you'll learn how to aim and target with your main weapon. I just did that. Okay, right stick and then uh, right trigger to fire. Hold left shift to the button B to select the main weapon you want to use, okay. Okay, so we can do up down for the same thing. So we can do uh, like this. Cool. Let me get these coins because I'm here. That's pretty rad. Do you like? Wonder if there's gonna be multiple uh, vehicles we can use. Now aim at your target, then fire your sub weapon by pressing right button on the mouse or right bumper on your control. I redid this to left trigger, I think. It's gonna take a little getting used to, that's fine though. Probably do a different sub than grenades. Okay, hold left shift or the button B, then select the weapon you want to use. So you can do left or right for that too for the quick select. Alright. So, swap to this, and what does this do? Okay, that's pretty rad, I like that.
All right, pick up this power up to upgrade your selected main weapon. Okay, we're on Gatling right now. Oh, I see, okay. If you're in danger, press A on your controller or left of control on the keyboard to call an air support. Let's try this. Don't really think we're in trouble, but. Cool. Okay, when the upper left energy bar is shining, press left bumper on your controller or Z in the keyboard to unleash your vehicle's special power. Oops. That's nice. Get roasted, sons. That's pretty good. Alright. Oh, we got tech trees and stuff too. Rad. I think I'm going to switch to the uh, million vault here. Alright, cool. Okay, so you collect coins to upgrade stuff. Cool. We got drones too. Neat. This is more in depth than I thought it was going to be. Okay, okay. We got different melee skills. I don't think we went over that. Super supply. I'm gonna keep the carpet bomb. PA Eero, welcome to the Dapper. Thank you. Looks like there's a lot of power up slots and stuff, Amphid. I'm not sure about the actual randomness of the gameplay, though. Hope you could find something. Good luck. Me too. Let's just stick with the machine gun here. Whoops. Oh, cool. Scrolls here. This is awesome. What we got here? Satellite shield. Let's see what it does, right? Alright, alright. Orbitals are good. that do? What else do we use another satellite shield? Okay, so it does have a timer on it. Okay, it does pause the game, cool. There we go. Probably should have saved that. What are you guys doing? Was I rescuing the bugs? Boss? Not block anything, got it. Cool. What's that? Super dart. I found nothing here. When the radio shows it at base, you might go and investigate it. Will do. Okay, that slows you down, or. Okay, that was the mission completing, got it. Okay, we got rocket now and shotgun. That's cool. Okay, primary weapon. Let's try the shotgun out. Actually, let's go rocket launcher. Let's see what we got here. Super dart. What does that do? 
We'll try it out. So we didn't use melee at all. What is the melee button? Let's take a look at that. No. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so that's plus damage on the shotgun. We're going to hold off on upgrades here because we don't know what all this stuff looks like or does. Oh, yeah, we got another slot here. Cool. Good call. I wonder if we can have multiple uh, sub-weapons. Oh, we can. All right. Neat. No drones yet. Well, can we learn how to use three different melee weapons in the advanced training? Awesome. Maybe may have soldiers around you destroy them with this melee weapon by pressing left trigger on the controller or space on the keyboard. Sure. What? That's super dark. What did I put it on? Oh, right bumper is what I did. Okay. A laser line will chase you. Reach the door of the next room before you are killed. Okay, I will do. Yeah, that's pretty nice. What does the shield do? The zoo shield is hard to master. Please look at the following demonstration carefully. Let's use the zoo shield. Your vehicle is temporarily unable to move. During this period, your vehicle will flash blue, then in red. When your vehicle is blue and hit by a projectile, it is invincible. Okay. When your vehicle flashes red, it means the effect of the Zeus shield has expired. Let's try to successfully use the Zeus shield three times. All right, dude. Sure. Um. Oh, I see. It's really tight timing. I was blue there, was I not? Maybe it's an actual, like, reflection. Okay. So if you use it right, you get a little invuln uh, time. That's cool. So I'm unlikely to use that one, but cool. QWERTY CANNON, thanks for 19 months, man, and Sledge Eater, thanks for that big 31. Appreciate you. Yeah, that is more of a parry, indeed. I think I like the dash. Okay, I'm going to uh, swap to the shotgun. Let's see how this works. Okay. Shotgun's alright. It is good damage. Okay, let's see what this does, huh? Yeah, super shotgun. I don't know what that is. Plus one HP, alright. Wonder if stuff just keeps spawning indefinitely here, or we're supposed to, uh... Let's proceed. What's this? Can't fire at it. Let's try the rocket launcher. What does that look like? Okay, they do just keep indefinitely spawning. What's that? Railing saw? 
Oh, sick. I like that. Seems good. I want to know what this thing is, though. Uh, okay, I wasn't trying to hit that. That's okay, though. Is this good more ammo for it? Got it. Okay, rescue guys. Got it. Is that a gold? Nice. Okay, the sap on the ground does slow you down. Noted. Yeah, I think I'll be sticking with the dash. Oop. Almost dead. Oh, dude, okay. Now I'm just a little feller. Interesting. Now I'm just a little feller. I'm an escape capsule. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's the little guy. It cut off all your wonderful support here in just a second. It's going to concentrate on whatever the hell is going to happen here. Well, on a good note, the escape capsule is very fast. Cool, man. Oh, is there another ship we can choose right now? Oh, nice. Okay, so there is a faster one with less power. We'll stick with the Jeep for right now. Seems like using um, using your specials is a good idea. Hey, it's Arun. Thanks for that incredibly generous five gift sub package, man. Really appreciate that. To all those All those recipients, please enjoy the emotes and community in Fellbound. Thanks for a great two years, man. Welcome to that NG life. Do we get to keep the money we collected there? We do. Cool. So you can only upgrade the specials, it looks like. Okay. So there's a bunch of stuff you can get here, too. Hey, no, no problem there, really. Like, this one's going to take some getting used to. Uh, it feels like the ship was as nice as a little bit slower than uh, the other twin stick bullet hells I've played. That's certainly not a complaint. It's just different. Okay, super dart's pretty great. Oh, that's a melee guy, okay. Interesting. Is that HP? Okay, nice. Looks like the chest in general have more uh, stuff in them. Or have HP in them. Thanks for that HP, guys. And those are like little uh, uh, cubbies for unlocks, it appears. Let's go to Rocket Launcher. Let's say this Saw one was pretty nice. Who is that? Who is that? What an absolute legend. It's Ruin. Thanks for those three more gift subs, bringing you up to 250 total on the channel. Thanks for that huge generosity. Do appreciate it. That's a pin pin. that what what hit me oh dude look at that that's badass big ass missile launcher all right select this one real quick let's see how this works oh i love that uh that feel on that saw blade that's pretty cool Can certainly appreciate it. And now it looks like stuff's not respawning. 
Okay, I was mistaken. There's a set amount of enemies. Fair enough. Oh, okay. So the um, the the P power ups we saw on the ground. It looks to me like those uh, the red bar above our weapon that improves that. Where's this feller coming from? Maybe they do respawn. Okay. Well. right there. Choose reward. Okay. What's Ice Driver? That's gotta be... Ice Driver has to be a drone. I wanna see it. No clues, sir. This base is underground parts. Investigate it now. Wicked. Okay, that's cool. It's like an auto shooter. Main weapon, heat seeking unlocked, okay. 70% complete, I must have missed something over here. Interesting. Um, shotgun's probably the weakest we have here. Let's try the heat seeking missile on that one. Okay, we got ice driver drone now. Let's buy that. Yes, I am sure I want to buy the ice driver, thank you. Uh, I think the dash is probably the best for this one. Let's see tech tree here. Okay, we own the ice driver. Got it. Okay, so our reward actually unlocks something for future plays. That's awesome. Okay, tech tree sub weapon here. Okay, we can upgrade sub weapons too. Interesting. Let's go ahead and grab an upgrade on super dart. I think. Give it a shot. Yes, I am going to buy that tech tree item. Ammo plus two. All right. Pretty cool vibe in here, man. Let's try this heat seeker. See how it looks. Oh, that's a cool look on that, man. Okay, confirm that does uh, start powering up weapons. Alright, for these turrets, gonna swap back to our just basic gun. One thing I do like about, um this is your speed is not different when you're firing versus not it's like a missile falling out of the sky what does that mean oh I see open up Okay, so dashing through stuff does get you killed. That's fair. Let's go ahead and try out this super dart, huh? Oh, 
was that? Oh, okay, these pads shoot you into the direction that you hit there. Interesting. Okay, so we only get these upgraded so much. That's what it looks like. No, you can't get hit by your own bullets. Your own bullets are always green, and then the enemy bullets are red. All right, missile control it is. So we're getting, what does this do? Okay, another auto fire -er. Interesting. Well, let's go for the easy to start because I just want to see more of the game. Exactly the hitboxes on this thing. Okay, we do have a chest over there. That's good. Want to grab that because we're at 1 HP right now. <laughs> okay, missile ammo. Fine. Guessing the boss is coming up here. Satellite shield. I think we're supposed to go past these. No. Oh, that was the buttons for it. Got it. Oh, here comes the boss then. that? No. What? Oh, I see. Okay, we're almost at a rocket launcher ammo here. Fair enough. I wonder if this boss is like this area, that's what it's trying to do. Oh, I missed my HP there, didn't I? Tough. All right, hold on here a gosh darn minute. Bellbound, thanks for a great two years, man, and Rock Jitsu. Thanks for 37 wonderful months. Appreciate that three plus years. Thank you. Good old 1 HP. see it now. I mean, you can destroy all those, but if you can just hit the buttons, too, that'll do it. Oh, we got no dash on the escape pod. Got it.
spend coins on unlocking the next stage now. Now we'll do it again. We're also gonna swap away from this heat-seeking missile because it was it was okay. I think Gatling gun's gonna be overall way more effective for us. Oh, okay, you gotta buy the drone for each run. Got it, or for each level. Didn't use our carpet bomb at all there. Should have used our specials a bit. Yes, this game does have a demo, if that's something you're interested in. What's this? Stuff. I am going to dash right into that guy, apparently. It's fine. Yeah, I think we should try to go for power-ups on our main weapon to begin with. That way we can uh, conserve some ammo for the tougher sections. The rocket launcher, I think, is our best weapon we currently have access to. Let's see if killing these off, uh... Jesus got a lot of HP. Killing these off is enough to take down the turrets. It's like the control for them. I think it is. Okay, so that just opens the next door. Fair enough. I get it now. All right, let's go for the Gatling gun here. We're also gonna use our super dart now. Oh, I see if we don't clear out here, that causes a problem if we gotta back up. Oh, we're escape potted. Well, good to know. No. I say this is tougher than I was expecting. That's certainly not a complaint for me. I do love a good challenge. Hey there, Solid Goo. What's good, man? Yeah, getting the first couple of powers for this. I think I'm going to swap to a secondary weapon. Um, at least for now. now. Let's go for Gatling Gun. Hey, thanks, T. I think we're going to need it. I'm going to leave that box there in case we take damage, huh? Okay. There they are.
Kind of get the gold there. Okay, there's the spawns. Okay, uh, we're going to go easy again here, I guess. But we still got this chest back here, don't we? Can we even get back to it? Yeah, we can get out this way and go back around. Oh, my HP disappeared. Good to know. I didn't think those despawned, but now we know. Okay. Okay. So what I learned there is the hitbox on the Jeep is actually quite big. Nah, if I really don't think so. I think it's just a very difficult game. Nothing wrong with a good challenge. Okay, so if we wait long enough here, we get a 1-up. I didn't see that counter before. Alright, alright. That's cool. I bet we lost some stuff for that. Yeah, Super Dars seem pretty good. We did buy the upgrade for it, too. I don't know if the upgrade carries over in between runs or not. I'm gonna guess no, seeing what I've seen now. Uh, I think all the vehicles are gonna be cars in this one, Dracius. Be my guess. Yeah, since we kept our money when we died, I'm gonna guess that the uh, the upgrades are in between runs. So you can like spend your, your resource gain on that if you want to. Nice, okay. I'm understanding this a lot better now. Whoa. Okay, so I got around this time. Oh boy, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that also kills all bullets on the screen. Good to know. Fair enough. Does a one-up exist again? Probably not. Okay, so it looks like on this one we really do kind of need to clear. It also looks like the layouts of the levels are rather static and what drops is somewhat randomized. So you get one one-up per run if you can survive in your escape capsule long enough. Escape Capsule's uh, little weapon here is actually pretty powerful. Nice. Alright, give me just one sec before we go up to the next one here.
Hey, Reckle, thanks for 11 awesome months. Appreciate that, Lurk. Thank you. No, I'm not going to spend coins. I want to give this one more go, man. We have enough gold to unlock that next stage. I think it's a pretty cool uh, mechanic for them to add in. But I want to beat this one. I'm going to go ahead and buy uh, Ice Striper here for this attempt. So I think this attempt is definitely the one. I think I'll just swap my weapons sooner, too. I'm liking the dash. I'm going to stick with that. Hey, nice freeze. Glad you're enjoying it. It's been a pretty fun experience so far, if I don't say so myself. Don't quite have the full grasp of it yet, but we're getting there. You can upgrade the basic weapon, yes. We have to find the power-ups to do so, though, and we're not there. I think we can also purchase those power-ups in between runs. But for the moment, not yet. Okay, so we're going to go from here. I'm going gonna... to destroy this stuff out. So the red buttons open the door. Once we go through this door, I'm going to be switching to the rocket launcher. Rocket launcher is badass. Okay, there's a power-up right there. So on this power-up, we're going to go for um, the machine gun. Okay, dashing. I wonder if you can dash through stuff then. arcade app. What is that? Oh, wrong button. Okay. Oh, it's just got a bunch of money in it. Neat. Well, I guess we're going to touch this now. Okay, the power-up actually gives us more projectiles. Awesome. Gotcha. Should have grabbed the arcade afterwards. Oh, I now see a wave timer here, too. I didn't see that before. What? That was a bit cheap. Mm. Let's see what the hard side looks like. What is that? Okay. Seems pretty good. <laughs> Who needs HP anyways?
Yeah, once you get a power up in this thing, or even two, it's a lot nicer. Spoopy. Oh, it's a spawner for those. Okay, I see it now. I get it. We'll chill out and wait for our one up here. Uh, thanks for 19 months, partner. Appreciate that. And Spina Chicken, thanks for five months as well. Okay, well, we're alive-ish. Whoops. Ooh. Don't think we're getting another one up here. Four more weapons to unlock. Cool. I think we're going to stick with Gatling Gun Rocket Launcher. Let's actually try out a different ship here. We'll try this one. Heavy Machine Gun. Cool. Let's put Super Dart on the first here. Interesting. Definitely slower than the previous uh, vessel. But, pretty nice. The power is much nicer. Can't confirm this is uh, static where the enemies are spawning. But what's dropping is very much randomized. Let's see what the super uh, super weapon looks like here. Pretty freaking good. Wow. I like it.
Look, I want to use the power up here. I just don't feel it's worth it on this one. Not yet, anyways. Okay, we're gonna grab missile control here, and I'm gonna hope that we get over to that power up in time. Nice. Okay, yeah. Good old hitbox. I'm just gonna use a gonna use a bomb here. Okay, so that mostly just cleared stuff. Interesting. Should have picked that up for a different weapon. Oh well. Dude, the power on this weapon's intense. That's correct. You uh, get the escape pod once you uh, lose your vessel. Definitely saw that right. Definitely our best attempt yet here. Is it? Yeah. Well, this is a new screen for us. Get him. Yeah, can okay, I get that 1942 vibe as well? I used to love that arcade cab. That's like the last thing left. Yes, you can still take damage when you're rainbowed like that. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh crap. Couldn't see that. What? Oh, there's guys spawned. Wow. That boss has a lot of HP. I thought he was done there, but he wasn't. Absolutely brutal. So I guess on the boss we should switch to a bigger weapon faster. Now this game released a few weeks ago, ZC Stover. It's been nice checking it out. I like that vessel a lot better. Yeah, I agree, Aurelia. Really. I think we need a little more range to hit the uh, the boss there. We weren't quite we weren't quite ranged out. Yes, Alakazor, this is my first time playing today. Alright guys, I think we're going to swap it up. I did very much enjoy playing this game. I'll probably return to it, but uh, we're going to put it to the side for a moment. I'm glad we tried it out. Definitely uh, happy with the purchase. If I had one critique, it feels like a lot of the enemies have a pretty large amount of HP, though uh, the gameplay itself was very satisfying. It's got a good sound to it, too. Yeah, it was very smooth, good gap. Had a good uh, good feel to it. Okay, I gotta do one thing here before we go to that. Yeah, it read really well on stream too. I agree, a Relic had a nice uh, look for that. As a reminder, we're not really running a game review stream. You're more than welcome to make critiques and stuff within reason. Oh, well, I got my window back here. But especially when we're trying a game out for the first time, if you just have negative stuff to say, I'm not really interested. Not ever really a problem on this channel. Just want to throw that out there. I only play games I know I'm going to enjoy for the enjoyment of other people. So let me make sure my windows are set up right here. This game plays a little different. Okay, that'll do. Alright, so another top-down uh, bullet hell. What's up? Ghostly squeal. Let's change this ghost look real quick. Take a look at the shop. Do we have stuff disabled and whatnot? We do. Okay, we have the delivery package sold already. Okay, great. I think we'll have to change back to hard mode here. Yeah. Still hunting for my first hard mode victory in this game at about 70 hours in. It's a very hard game, Monolith. Slumber Project, thanks for 18 months, man. Appreciate that year and a half and help me 1212. Thanks for an awesome floor. Yes, hard mode should be hard, and it certainly is here. Okay, we're going to wait for our uh, base weapon or clear the level with our base weapon before taking that weapon cache. 
So how uh, this game works for power-ups and whatnot. If you start with your base weapon here, you can get weapons by breaking open vaults. Each floor has an upgrade room like this. Each floor has usually a store and a secret room as well. So you have a map style to go through. Recovers all health and ammo. Negate more than two damage while holding more than two bombs. Let's take this early. Auto bombs is pretty nice. Crap. That's okay. Mm. Not too shabby. So this store, you trade HP for stats, and I'm going to trade 2 HP for a 10% damage increase. Because 10% is not a small amount. Cheese and rice. Dude, just go. This is where having a decent weapon would have been good. Yes, one hit is one health. There are a few exceptions in the later uh, floors. There's projectiles that can do two damage. There might have been Benjamin. We'll look at that in a sec. She's a race. No, it's one H one HP to recover two HP, not two max. All right, if we do okay here, we can also get another ten percent damage. I'd like to heal, but uh, getting twenty percent damage in the early game seems pretty nice. Uh, one feature of this game as well is when you have uh, less than two bombs. You recover a bomb shard per room that you clear. So we can look for our secret room where we only have two and then recover that one. Are these all ghost blocks? I don't think these were in the game last time I played. The devs have been really consistently updating this game. They're working on another uh, free DLC as well. Shariba, thanks for 32 wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you kindly. Um, let's see what we get here. Homing Drag Drill. Or Ricochet Surge. I'm going to take this. Uh, one thing to note in this game, when you leave a room, the stuff that's in there is gone forever. With the exception being uh, stores. We might be able to buy 1400 here. If we do well in the boss, we have a 1.7 score multiplier right now uh, from clearing rooms without taking damage. So if we have a good boss fight here, it should be possible. And the green dot on the character is the hitbox. Yeah, we got 25% damage right now, which is uh, pretty amazing. You know, I think with 25% damage already here on floor one, I'm just going to go ahead and take the um, starting boost. Where is my starting room? Down here. There he is. So this is what I bought for 100,000 score. Just going to do it right now so that we get even more. So now we have 140% damage on floor one. That's very good. Also, now we have a weapon that's not our base weapon. Uh, our ability to clear rooms is a lot better. Uh, 
Um, electricity merely slows you down. It's very powerful in the later game, but man, getting to 150% damage right now is really good. I didn't mean to break that yet. Infested drag. Um, homing is so much better here. I'm actually going to leave this. I shouldn't have opened that and didn't want to. But uh, homing drill is a very effective clearing weapon. Especially if we're going to build up bombs. So you have two stats in this game. Damage and max ammo. Max ammo makes it so you can fire your... Uh, you weapon more time. has got 158 ammo now. Um, the ways to refill your ammo in this game are by purchasing ammo upgrades or refills. Or if you have full health and you defeat one of the mini bosses on the floor, uh, you get a full ammo refill as well. Oh, man. That was wild. Nice. Okay. Is there a guy still alive? Oh, there is. Okay. Oh, boy. Another 10% damage increase. What is it, my birthmas? I have no idea when the DLC is releasing Arca Dream, but I certainly am. I really enjoy this game. I enjoy it every time I play it. And it just keeps getting better. Um, there's one mini boss. How many mini bosses is this for? I think just one. Free money! Okay, I'd like to get an ammo refill on this boss here. Is that just recover HP? I don't really want to gamble, but I might. I'm going to buy the damage increase and go fight the boss here. Luckily, we're not using very much ammo to clear, so it's say less concerning. Wow, we two-shot the mini-boss? Mmm... Hey, awesome to hear, Arca Dream. Thanks for the update. Man, that homing drill is really good. What's up with all this free money? We don't have the uh, better drops thing going on right now. I can't complain. Um, probably afford that after the boss. Yeah. Buddy, let me tell you about it. Yep. I don't want any poppy corn. Cool, man. We did it. Hey, don't read this. Thanks for three wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Okay, vault key. Um, if there is a vault key, that means there is a vault on this floor. That's good. Another gambling room. Okay. So it'd probably be to our advantage to buy the vault key. Vault key can have anything in it, including 20% damage.
best case scenario is actually being able to bomb into the vault, then we could not buy the key. So if you have a vault on your floor, your key is guaranteed to be somewhere. It can be in your secret room. It can drop normally from a room. It can be in your store like it is here. Store is probably worse because you're not getting it for free. Our now 2.5 times multiplier, though, is putting in some work. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the vault key. Because I gotta know what's in the box. Plus one time bomb, alright. Well, bombs are cool because we have auto bombs as our reward. So, every time we take damage with more than two bombs... Oops. It uses the bomb automatically for us, like it did just there. Since we're at full HP, we get that ammo refill now. That was a toughie. Now, what we got here? Creates a selection of powerful weapons, recovers all health and ammo, reveals some rooms. I think we're going to go for the selection of powerful weapons. This drill's great, but... Get better. Okay, got Pulsar, Piercing, Triple, Chain, Lightning, Ricochet, Phasing... Thunderhead, that's definitely good. Ricochet phasing and black bats infested railgun. Okay. Overheat, shrapnel, black back blast. Um I honestly think the drill might be best. Let's go ahead and go for the um Thunderhead here to see how it works though. If this didn't have phasing on it, it probably wouldn't be as good, but. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I have a lot of trouble aiming the railgun myself, is my hesitation. I do think it's powerful. I like the railgun when it has homing on it a lot. Free money! Freezing on there is better than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Right here. Ricochet homing <laughs> railgun. You know what? I want to try it. I want to see what it looks like. Other weapon was, I would say, undoubtedly probably a bit better. But I want to know what it looks like. Yeah, pretty good. Alright, let's see what we get here. Homing Chariot Razor, Homing Freeze Razor, uh, no thanks. Let's go, we actually get an extra max HP for taking this right now, we might need that on the boss, huh? Let's see how this uh, performs versus Ice Worm, really good if it's got piercing, which it does. Two shabs. Pretty effective clearer, too. Let's go ahead and buy this uh, HP here with our 7,500. So you can see on the left-hand side of our HP here is three out of four filled to get another max HP. One more. One more. All right. We got here. That's an ammo refill. We're at max ammo right now, so it's actually the max ammo increase. I'm going to give it a shot. All right, fair enough. We're going down. Mm -hmm. 
Increases maximum hit points by a third, so we'd be at 16. Enemies take longer to activate. It's nice. Let's go ahead and take the HP increase, though, because, you know, 16 HP is a lot. I thought that was going to get max HP, too. I was mistaken. Not yet. Let's clear a little more first. Okay. Seventy eight hundred for ammo there. That's going to be tough. Not impossible, though. Okay, we are down to 82 ammo. I think we'll be able to buy that ammo refill before we're out of here, though. Yeah, definitely, Elvara. The homing's making this um, feasible. Oh, I think that's a new champion type magnetic. I was like, why am I getting pulled? Because that guy's got a magnetic hat on. So good. Okay, so we definitely didn't get enough to get to the max ammo here, but I think we can beat the boss and buy this afterwards, or maybe just buy an HP. We have not located our secret room yet. Really, the only place it can be is here. It's the only three square cubby. Phasing Freeze, Black Bass, uh, Thunderhead. Basically the same one. Um, got freeze and fire on it though. I think this is going to be better for the boss. Also gives HP up and a new weapon resource. We can, in addition, um, improve our maximum ammo by buying this right now. I'm going to do that. So if you buy a full ammo refill when you're already at max ammo you get a maximum ammo increase. Yeah, phasing's pretty cool on this one. Oh, dude. Okay there, Mr. Ordinator. Calm down, son. Why you doing that, bud? 
He was really far down on the screen there. Good for him, huh? Not bad. Yeah, you're right. Our weapon room is still up on this floor. Thank you. Piercing charge, split revolver. That oh, was worth looking. This? Um, I guess that's it. Thanks, phasing. Yes, Solid View, that is the trick for that boss. You do want to be on the same um, horizontal line as him for the most part. At least in the beginning. He just got very aggressive very fast. I think what happened was he went from his phase one to phase two almost immediately. Sure, I'll take some ammo, thanks. More ammo! Twenty-four thousand. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford that. I'd love to. Oh man, that's probably a great spot to use a bomb. Uh, again. Yep. Hey, got our vault key for free. Nice. Check that out. All right, couple HPs. A little, little max ammo. Not a great vault, but better than not getting one. What? Oh, they smash. Still got a lot of rooms to learn in this game. one. Alright, no hiding behind a wall on this one. going on here um shop items are 33 percent cheaper that might put that damage within reach of us buying on this floor so i'm in yeah just bombs will be nice too though 16 for that. 16 we can probably reach. Freeze infested drill. Triple laser. Eh. I don't want any poppy coin. What? Oh. I lost track of my character there. Hmm. 
No? Very well then. Who needs bombs? Not me. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, we're on the Overlord already? I misunderstood. bad almost done with phase one there I was just ill prepared to that to be the overlord yeah for sure Bigfoot the railgun would have been better but sometimes you just want to swap weapons to have something new a really good first attempt No, that was not the last boss. That was the boss before the last boss. So. We'll buy our boost here. We don't have to use the boost when we're in the dungeon. It does carry over in between runs and floors, so you can kind of pick your moment. I decided to use my boost on the first level there, so we got an ext extreme amount of damage to begin with. There are different bosses for different difficulties as well. We're currently playing on hard mode. So we fight a ship that's a lot like ourselves when we get to the boss. Okay, we're going to go for um, Prolonged and Vuln Time. That's really good versus a lot of bosses. And just if you get cramped in a corner or something, which happens pretty frequently, that'll save your bacon. Gain six power bombs, lose a max bomb. I don't think I want that right now. Max bomb is our ability to regenerate bombs up to two. Okay, max ammo increase, nice. Yes, we are playing with the gamepad, uh, June the Moon. I've played this game with both mouse and keyboard and uh, gamepad. They're both just fine. Both have their advantages and disadvantages.
That's correct, Elvaro. If you run out of your main uh, weapons area, main weapons ammo, it does um, switch back to this. Whoops. I feel like I um, phased through that laser. I don't have the perk for phasing, though. Well, we could buy HP. Might as well if we're here. Also, where is our secret room at? Off a little cubby. Well, some damage is better than no damage. Let's just buy the recovery too and save our money. Homing Gatling Vulcan. I'll give it a shot. Like the ammo is going to slam out of this pretty fast. That's fine. Two bombs good. Reveals entire floor for 700. Okay, that seems good. Go ahead and use a bomb right now, too, then. Homing triple fireball. Oh, hello. Hello. Going to go ahead and buy this right now for increased max ammo, too. Because homing triple fireball, if I remember correctly, is um, very good. Hey, nice Gumbus. I'm sure you enjoy it if you uh, look at this game and you like what you see. It's exactly what it offers. It's a really clean, really clean bullet hell roguelike. Hitbox is exactly the green dot on the ship. That works. Crap. Somehow bamboozled my way out of that one. Okay, let's do better and more frequent item drops. Better and more frequent item drops early means we're going to get uh, a lot more money and just overall drops. This makes damage up drop from rooms more frequently, which I think is probably the most powerful thing about it. Freeze, yeah. Piercing, phasing laser is not bad. There's no triple homing laser, though. Oops. What? You got me there, bud.
Gonna buy these two. Bombs are nice. This guy's fire resistant. Crap. Not bad. It was really good, Woeful Me. It's real clean. Might return to it in the future, but I got my fill for now. buy the food here. Health's nice, and I would like a chance at getting um, more ammo for this gun. take my boost here. I think it is time. Hey, Mr. Insanity, you've used up your caps locks privilege, man. Sweet Izzy, thanks for 12 wonderful months. Appreciate that year. Yeah, more I got lucky on that room, not gonna lie. The redfish, I think, are one of the toughest enemies for uh, me to deal with. Oh, I touched him, that's true. I did. I did that. Triple freeze razor, triple freeze Vulcan. There's no way that's better than triple fireball right now. The only thing that would make this uh, fireball even better would be the overheat perk. And overheat makes it so it leaves like an area of effect damage after it fires. If that gets tripled, by golly, it's good. Too bad. So yeah, we just got to go from side to side on that one. Yeah, I like the damage increase here even more than the ammo refill, I think. lowest price. Thanks so much for keeping it dapper. Appreciate that continued support. Thank you. Sorry, I just got to check one thing here real quick, guys. All right.
We good. You've always been able to do that, Shady Dreamer. You just have to set the uh, time value on the timeout. You've always been able to do a one second timeout, which is how the bot purges. Cool, thanks for sharing. Um, cobalt ingot, there we go, it got there. Okay, teleport when dashing is pretty nice. Uh, maximum HP increase also good. I'm gonna take the teleport when dashing though. We got faith. Uh, we need to be able to bomb in from all sides here. This looks good. No. Should have bombed right here then. Or not. Hey. Okay. Well, if we leave the room, it's gone. But ammo's good. Damage is good. Smarter me should have bombed from this room first. It covers more areas. This room's also good. Okay, we're full HP here. We can do it. What's this guy do? Oh, yeah. Right. Total jerk. Oh, that's right. I forgot he did that. Good for him. When you use a bomb to check for a secret room, Ilvaro, it bombs all walls. So there's only one secret room location, which has to be a bombable from all sides. And we'll have these flat walls. So by bombing in this room, it checks the north and the south. Yeah, so Ice Worm doesn't do well versus Fireball. No surprise there. And we're out of here. Mugost 123, thanks for 19 months, man. One away from that big 2-0 and no problem at all. Thanks for dropping that huge 3-0. It's a half year for that Hall of Fame. Thank you. I don't think we're gonna grab map reveal here. It's tempting, but I don't think necessary. Shouldn't have gone in here yet. Oh, well. Oof. Hey, Meldon Tarragon, thanks for five years support in 60 awesome months. Appreciate that. Okay, we got Vault on this floor. Either we're gonna get that as a drop or inside our store. I didn't see a key in the store, so a little promising that it's gonna be just dropped here. again okay well, I mean honestly for rooms we can get here this one's not too bad I say as I take damage laser beams hmm. 
Negate damage while holding more than two bombs. That's great. Enemies need to learn to activate. I'm going to go ahead and take the damage here, bringing us up to 145%. I have a hard time turning down damage. Thank you, better and more frequent item drops. I almost ran into that. I believe the red projectiles do two damage here. I guess how it works. Ooh. I almost ran out the door, and that would have been bad, because that's our only vault key, and it would have disappeared. What's in her? Freeze Swarming Vulcan and Shotgun Style Revolver. Shotgun Revolver is actually pretty good. I don't think it's... Uh, I'm going to try sneaking past this. Oh, you can. Good. I think Triple Fireball is probably better, but I know Shotgun Revolver puts out some hurt. Let's just swap it up so we have something different. Fireball's damage was better. This is nice for clearing, though. Seagram room's not there because there's a two-tile block. So, probably here, then. No? So, if it's not here... It's got to be on one of these two squares rather than the cubby. So we know our boss door is right over there. Interesting. A bit befuddled about where the secret room is here. You know, let's buy the map reveal. Ah, okay. We missed our room over here. Got it. That's fair. Phasing burst Vulcan charge. Nah. I'll keep my revolver here. Alright. I'm gonna keep my 9,000 too. Let's gamble a little bit. I mean, never hurt anybody, right? Hot dice. Is that 5 or 10 percent damage? I don't even have enough to gamble for that. That's not all. There's still another phase to this boss. I'm gonna check real quick. I'm not gambling for that. It's too expensive. Um, max ammo increased to how much? 210%. I think I'd rather save here, actually. Is 
there even a gap there? Where's the gap? Need to use my um, teleporting for that. Or do we even have teleporting on this one? I don't know. 8 HP is enough. Yeah, that's right. We did grab item chance instead of uh, teleport. Thank you for that. That's correct. Ammo's nice. Ricochet phasing a Lion Vulcan. Let's try it. I don't know what a Lion Vulcan is going to look like. Not bad. Mm, I guess we'll go for the cheaper shops. A bit late for that, but... Here we are. I think a line benefits this weapon um, less than others. I think the best align weapon that I've seen is Thunderhead. Damage, okay. We're to 155 percent. Certainly not bad. out of that one. The ranged optician. Thanks for a wonderful 25 months, man. Appreciate that quarter century. You rock. to ammo refill here instead, but that's not what we got. Ooh. 
two damage projectile. Okay, there's some ammo. Not too shabby, man. That was a really good uh, phase one there. Really good. It's not like we had a great weapon for that, and we almost got to phase three. I think phase three is the easiest of the phases. Just getting there. And of course, there's a whole other floor and boss after that. How much money did we make that run? Oh, about 70. medic thanks so much for converting that prime sub to a recurring sub man very much appreciate it all right guys we're a few hours into our part one afternoon broadcast for day seven of fragments here gonna be taking a short break just gonna stand up stretch my legs and encourage you to do the same be back in a few short moments to continue the fun thanks for your patience during this short intermission no ads or anything like that just do enjoy this kitty and her toe beans boop
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that short intermission. I appreciate it. Let's, uh, let's head on in. Dr. Bobby, 0204. Thanks for three wonderful months, man. Appreciate that. Uh, tastefully named that Stellar Interface. In the game you're thinking, I'm pretty 99% sure. Dude, this level right here. I don't like this room. It's spoopy. Why is there, why is there chasers already? So I really should have focused the ads down there first. Fair enough. Better and more frequent item drops, easy pick. I am definitely not going to use my boost yet on this run. That got a little tight. It is, please. It's also on hard mode, so it's going to be uh, harder than normal mode. This game has a really great variety of difficulty options for players of all skill levels and experience. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Throat tickle could not be contained. Ah, six power bombs to lose a max bomb. I don't want to lose a max bomb right now. Okay. Yeah, let's see what weapon we get here. It's early, but split shotgun pulsar. Freeze infested Thunderhead. Is that. They're both freeze infested Thunderhead? That's gotta be really low odds of that actually happening. I agree, Sir Mac, that normal mode's pretty approachable. Still took me uh, 20 ish hours to get a win on it, but there's a lot of uh, enemies and rooms to intake on this. Gumbus Maximus. Thanks for those 500 bits, man. Glad you could find a new game you enjoy because of the channel. Nice. One sec here. I just need to drink some water. Nice. Turns out water's pretty good. Not bad. Our chance of getting identical weapons probably a little bit higher since we have um, a few of the weapon modifications disabled. What was in our store here? Oh, right. It wasn't even a real store. The big fat phony store. Oh, the swarmers are nice once they go off. This weapon's a bit junky, though. 
I'd say it's much better than our base weapon for clearing, but... Might as well use up some ammo before we swap it. Maybe not better than the base weapon for clearing some rooms. Chung, thanks for a great nine months, man. Appreciate you. Triple crossbeam. I just want to see what this looks like. Okay. That's a thing. Now, if that had homing attached as well, we'd be in the business, huh? Well, we really need that damage right now. We're only at 110%. I could take my starting bonus. They were gonna hold off one run for doing that though. So if we can delay the starting bonus, can earn another one. I've been trying to hang out right around that 300,000 score or so. Cost 100,000 score to purchase that upgrade and have it available. I've never had this weapon. It's pretty good. I've had triple homing laser, which was very powerful as well. Um, is it possible? No. I'm gonna say if it's possible to bomb into the vault, we'd want to do that. Okay, there's our vault key. All right, I mean, certainly not bad. Hey, max ammo increase, big deal right now. Okay, I'm gonna buy the health here so that we can, if we do well on this boss or this mini boss, we can um, get our, our ammo back. There we go. So at max HP, they drop a ammo refill. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this max HP as well while we're here. All right, this should actually be good versus Behemoth. I think he's weak to laser. I don't want any poppycorn. Could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone better, too. I'll take it. All right, going down. That slow down underwater is uh, such a nice effect. You can knock icicles down onto the enemy. It's all coming together now.
Okay, another vault's cool. Hopefully our key is not in the secret room this time, so we can get a regular secret room and the vault. That'd be nice. Okay, do want damage. Also want the vault key. Hmm. Well, probably buy the vault key first. I mean, the dam five damage is nice, but I think the vault is more likely to have something even better. Maybe. Ah, good old magnetic fish. Okay, max ammo increase is great. I'm liking it. Actually, pretty amazing how effective this weapon is at clearing for not having uh, more than 10% damage here. I'm impressed. All right. A bunch of power bombs. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 10% damage. More damage than you can shake a damage at. We're nowhere near the monstrosity of that 155% first run. It's still pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and negate damage by holding more than two bombs. We're currently holding five bombs, so that lets us do some stuff. Oh, hey, I didn't know that. Thanks for sharing Arc of Dream that the uh, leftover bombs get converted into money or additional bombs get broken down into more scrap money. Makes sense. All right, let's see what we get here. I'm willing to switch. Shotgun style. Ricochet revolver. That sounds good. I mean, it's not the best, but it sounds like it'll put in some work. Maybe not versus Ordinator. Oh, it's Beholder. This will be good. Thank you, Shotgun Style Blast. Piercing's really good on this fight, because the more of those little fellers that spawn, the more aggressive this gets. Uh, okay. Hard mode's hard. Not bad. Beholder is no joke. And I'm buying that damage, man. Got our secret room, got our vault, we're out of here. there when I didn't mean to. It was my fault. 
3 HP. Mm. Yes, it is free, Winston. You can. Whoa, I don't know, Poppy Corn. Well, ghosts come out of the candles at the end. That's, that's spooky. Hold on, Winston. Look at this hecky man right here. That's my little man. Only man in the house. What? What? Can't they get pinched though? Be nice. No, Penny would never bully Winston out of anywhere. Not my pin pin. Uh, okay, we're alive. Wow. Ricochet charge faster lasers split homing revolver. Ah, uh, what the heck. Gotta replace this weapon anyways. We're about to run out of ammo. Got him. Okay, I mean, I understand the pattern. It's still extremely tough without a good damage weapon. Rather dashing. Thanks for 31 biggins, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, you know, basically you collect score to unlock items from the shop. So this screen right here is the progression. You buy all the things and modifiers that you want to use. And then uh, that's that. Mr. Bind, thanks for making it official with Twitch Prime, dude. Appreciate you. Yeah, buddy. And then, of course, you have uh, the different ships for difficulty and other modifiers, too. But not too many unlockables overall. Probably 25-ish hours to get all the different weapon types and stuff unlocked, if I'm remembering correctly. So good. Let's switch up this rug. There we go, ghost rug. Nice sunset there. There we go. 
Bandit Ghost, Ghostly Squeal. Uh, there is not Kalazara. We almost never have a schedule for actual when what game will be played on the channel. Try to keep it open because every day is unique and a new opportunity and I always feel like playing uh, something different. In fact, the theme of this Summer Fragments is really just enjoying the moment that we're currently in. So let me thank you all for being here for this moment while we're enjoying some modeling. I've tried a lot of different types of schedules in my seven and a half years and I'm coming up on 13,000 hours of live content now uh, here on Twitch. And doing things day by day is the only way I have found to uh, enjoy the game I'm playing each day. Very often I say I'm going to play, I'll play this game on Friday or something. Then Friday rolls around and I don't want to play that game. It's, uh, it's tough. Been there, done that enough times not to do it again. But one guarantee I can make to you is if I am playing a game on stream, I do enjoy and recommend it. That is my promise to you. Got no pop-ups, alerts, sponsored content, or uh, any other shenanigans here on the stream. Just me enjoying games to the best of my ability. I think that's one thing that really differentiates uh, my content from others is really the wonderful community here and our focus on enjoying things. There's a lot of game review channels out there and critique channels and all that. That's all good and well. That's all very valuable and uh, good to have. I think there's very few places online where people can just uh, just enjoy things. That's very important to me. Of course, I have complaints myself and things that I like and like and don't like, but I rarely uh, rarely voice those because this place is for relaxation and enjoyment instead. And that's all good and well too. Different places for different things. Don't talk about this very often either, but at the start of this year, I gave up social media altogether. I found it's really uh, changed my mindset quite a bit and emboldened the importance for me of having this be a place where people come to relax and enjoy. Because having given that up, uh, I very quickly realized how much uh, what you surround yourself can influence your mood. Specifically, I think we're all surrounded by opinions and complaints all the time, which is just part of being on the internet and being around so many people. But it can definitely skew your mood if that's all you're reading or doing. I've overall been a lot happier for that change. Oh man, it's too early for powerful weapons here. Yeah, he played about an hour of Bugs uh, Must Die. It's pretty good. Um, the game played really smooth. Ooh, shotgun-style overheat fireball. Definitely a different style than, like, this game. I only noticed I thought some of the enemies might have had uh, quite a bit of HP. But the gameplay itself and the actual concepts really well done. Much less of a roguelike, too. Vault key, yep. Um. Uh, that's a discussion for another time and place. I think everybody can make that own decision. I just found it pretty surprising for myself personally, uh, having been on both sides of the fence now. Having been somebody with a fair amount of influence being on social media and then giving that all up. It's been, uh... It's different. I'm certainly not anti-social media or anything, just... Tried something different and was rewarded for it. Okay, we're definitely gonna buy this. 
Did we just defeat the boss? We did, didn't we? Maybe health was better? Maybe? Alright, I'm not gonna take my reward here, dude. I'm not super stoked on this run. A lot of damage on that first floor. Yeah, cheers, Kamara. Glad this stream is a place you can come relax and enjoy. There certainly is uh, different places for all sorts of different experiences here on Twitch. I think it's really wonderful the variety of environments we all have. Ain't that wonderful? Okay, 5 HP is reasonable. Dude, overheat, sh shotgun, fireball is really good. Hey, Harry Perry, John, thanks for four wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Um, You know, let's go for extra health and debris when replacing weapons. Do I want to replace triple shot, overheat fireball? I don't, but I'm going to. I've had this weapon a few times. I just, you know, it's good. Oh, I see now. Oh, oh, I see now. I gets it. Spoopy ghosts. I think it gives two health when you swap weapons with this perk. I don't remember, though. Let's see what we get here. Burst instant recall. Sounds good. Let's give that a shot. It does indeed replace two. It's pretty good. So basically we're able to fire three razors in a ring over and over again with that. Is that 10% damage? I haven't seen the other store. I do like some... Um, damage. I'd also really like some health, so let's save for a minute. Okay, so the burst on this weapon is really good. So that's our store for this floor. Fair enough. Checking the walls here. Okay, secret room's not there, so it's likely here. Though that's blocked off too. So maybe down here then. So the wall's blocked in any way. We know it's not there. Piercing shotgun style pulsar. Sure, man. Is pulsar the one that does the medium range? Oh boy. It's gonna be tricksy. Pretty good boss to have for this Pulsar, actually. Whoops. I do have four bombs here, and I'm probably going to use them. Okay, yeah, this is tough. Oops. Yeah, having the lower range for phase three was more detrimental than I thought. I'd try that again, though, just for funsies.
What's your guys' top weapon combinations? I'm just going to list off a couple that I really enjoy here so far. Uh, triple piercing, a uh, triple homing laser was very good one time. Uh, obviously saw shotgun overheat, uh, fireball is very good. Triple overheat fireball, homing triple fireball. Shotgun triple spread pull, so that sounds amazing. Yeah, we saw the uh, splitting laser um, in a previous run we did. Hey, only one way to get better Catatonic Kiwi. And uh, I will say this game does have a normal mode, which is a lot more accessible uh, bullet hell-wise. I am at 70 hours without a hard mode victory right now, and I, we've been really close a few times. I just... Uh, still improving. Yeah, phasing homing railgun. Um, pretty legit. I found that railgun can fall off on bosses. That was my experience. Not that you're going to get out of the boss without dodging a lot, but it does fire slow in comparison. I have not Jack the Ripper, but if you want us to put it in the suggestion list, I'll be happy to look at it uh, next time I'm looking at games. Oh, there is a fire faster perk, isn't there? Yeah, I turned the spear off. Swarmer pack includes two keywords and a bomb. Okay, so that's the swarm bomb and infested on the weapons. I think we're going to leave the weapons as is. Oh my god, this penny right now. Are you going to be a bully? Trying to be a bully to Winston. My hecky man still up there? He is. Yeah, I might do Thunderhead next time we play. We'll see. I think once I get my first hard mode victory, I'll probably turn all of the modifiers on, but I'm kind of fishing for that first victory, huh? Well, all right, everybody, that is going to conclude our afternoon part one broadcast. As a reminder, there will be a part two of the broadcast tonight starting around 8 p.m. Pacific. Uh, thank you for the bullet hell fun today. We played uh, Bugs Must Die, a game that released a few weeks ago. It was pretty nice, could certainly use a little more balance, but overall, the concept and flow of the game was extremely good. Definitely happy with that purchase and played some more models, which we've been away from uh, a couple months now. Uh, always a joy to come back to this one. It does take an intense amount of concentration, but... Uh, one of the best main bullet hells I've ever played. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in a few short hours to do it up once more. Thanks for the great time and wonderful conversation this afternoon. Be back and at it in just a little bit. Enjoy this kitty on the outro, and I'll catch you guys soon.